Okay, this video is to instruct you all how to use Splashtop. Now this application, Splashtop application, is used to remotely log into my classroom, Mr. Grabowski's classroom at Coronado High School. So that way you can log into one of the computers in my computer lab and these computers have the software that's needed um, and your laptops do not. So, how do we use this? The very first thing you should find is in your email you should have gotten some sort of an invitation from me. So the first thing I want to do is look at the email here and it should say something like this. You've been invited to join and it should be from Splashtop. And it says Douglas.Grabowski at D11 has invited you to use Splashtop. Down here just complete these three easy steps. So you have to accept the invitation from your administrator and we also have to log in. Now, I've already clicked this. I'm not sure what's going to happen if I do it again. Let's see. It just brings me to a sign-in screen. And we are going to be using the single sign-in. Now, before I... Well, yeah, I'll go ahead and do that. Single sign-in. Actually, before I sign in, I'm going back to the email. And I'm going to click on this for the business app. So, you guys have to have this loaded. Now, I shouldn't say loaded. Notice it says portable version. So pick the second one. Now if you're loading a personal device at home, I guess you can use this one. But this one is just a simple executable file that does not load anything to the machine because you guys don't have admin rights. Only if you have admin rights can you load this one. So you're going to be using this one and then of course if you're um, using an iPhone or pick the appropriate one. But this is the one that you guys want to use. When you click it, it should download it into your downloads and then you'll find it in your download folder. Oh, it's empty. Well, I lied. Maybe I already have it loaded. Oh, there it goes. And now it's loading. Once it's finished loading, you can go in here. You'll find it in your download folder. Either that one or this one. It's the same folder. Now, then just minimize everything else and you're going to grab this guy and drag it on your desktop. I already have it out here so I'm just going to leave it. Okay, now that you have it on your desktop when you after you clicked the activation so that you activate your account then you can start it and it looks like I guess I already have it started here don't I? Right here and you'll, you'll click on the single sign-in login click, and be sure to use your District 11 email address. And when you're finished logging in, you should come to a screen like this where it lists all the computer names in my course room, in my classroom that are uh, available to be connected to. So you can pick any one of them, at least for now. In the future, I might be assigning uh, computers to you, and then it would only show one available to you. Uh, for right now, you can just pick whichever one is available. Some of them will say that they're not available because someone else is using it. But in this case, I'm making this video when all 30 computers are available. Now, um, so if you just click on one of them, and if I click right over here, connect, open, and just go ahead and click on this. Always allow my splash top. And then when this screen pops up, just go ahead and click on your single sign-in login. And using your email address, go ahead and log in. Then the next screen that should pop up is this one. And I'm actually looking at this computer in my classroom. I can see it right now on the screen. And when I'm moving my mouse, I can see that computer, the mouse on that computer move. So you're actually, when you log in like this, and I'm in computer number 13 right now, I'm actually controlling that computer starting right now. So now I'm going to go ahead and log in as if I were here at Coronado um, sitting here. And remember, now you do not use your email address. Instead, you use the first five letters of your last name. And then your first and middle initial and then your last four numbers of your student ID. Oops. And so go ahead and use that and then the same password. Okay. 
and it'll log you in. I'll pause this and come back as soon as it's done. And so once it finishes logging you in, you'll notice that you've got a separate window here. And this window is denoted down here in the bottom with this little splash top icon. So you still have access. You can still minimize and you still have access to your desktop. And, you know, you could be working on some other work um, and back and forth. However, if this goes inactive for 15 minutes, it automatically un uh, logs you out. And then you would have to go back into here and, and click on it again. If you click on the same computer, sometimes it'll let you uh, start back where you were unless that computer got rebooted or taken over by another student, maybe. Then you'd have to go to another computer uh, and log back in. So just want you guys to be aware that also I keep all of the monitors on. So during the class period and during the day, I can see when students are logged in and using the classroom computers. So um, that way, if you need some help, you could say, hey, Mr. G, I just logged into computer number 13, uh, you know, and come back into the WebEx meeting. And then I'm, I'm going to walk over there rather than take control from here because I have an application here that I can take control of your machine from here. But it's going to be more effective and use less bandwidth. I'm just going to walk around the classroom. So I'll just take my laptop, walk over to computer number 13, and talk you through what your problem is. Um, anyway, so... So this is how you get access to all of the uh, applications on the school computer. So for example, if you wanted to access the Python program, you'd simply type down here in the search for Python, and there it is, the Python IDLE. And then you'd have access to the Python program here that's loaded at Coronado. And that's what I had some of you using you're typing in your script right here. I uh, had some of you that were coming in in person. I had the in-person students using this program for a while. Then we went back to Replit since it was uh, people going back and forth and so forth. So anyway, um, we're going to be using for these classes, not all, some of you will be watching this video for other classes, but in this class, particular class, you guys are going to be using Unity and clicking on the Unity 2019 using that's the latest version that's loaded on here. All right, so that's just how to use Splashtop.